Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, we are going to go back to the basics and talk about autophagy. Let's go back to the basics. So here's what you need to know about autophagy. That one of the things that we are now uncovering about the human body is that we have this whole repair state that kicks in when we're not eating. And autophagy is one of those repair mechanisms. When autophagy first came out, it actually made, was made popular in 2015 by Dr. Osumi, he's a Japanese scientist who had been studying autophagy for many years. And he discovered that when cells don't get food, so when it doesn't sense that the glucose, that your blood sugar is going up, that there is a mechanism that turns on the efficiency of that cell. And that mechanism is called autophagy. And autophagy is really the way that the cell can start to become more efficient. It is, it is like the internal intelligence inside the cell. Now, here's what's so fascinating to me about autophagy. There are some hacks to autophagy. There's some little tricks to getting into autophagy. But really what autophagy is there for is to make you stronger. So think about it like this, a little bit of stress in our lives will make us go within and become a stronger, more hopefully compassionate, uh, more wise human being. Well, the same thing when you take food out of the equation, our cells start to kick in an intelligence that tells the cell to be better. And it does this by looking around the cell and saying, gosh, you know what? There's some bad bacteria in here. There's some viruses in here. There's some things inside this cell that are not serving this cell. So I'm going to just clean that up. It will spit these bacteria and bacteria out. It will stop the replication of bacteria. It will go in and repair mitochondria that we need to make energy. It will repair proteins. So it's a like the, the most basic idea around autophagy is it's like you walked into a dark room and you turned on the lights. And when the lights got turned on, all of a sudden you could see what in the room needs to be cleaned up. That's what autophagy is doing. So you need to go into these states of autophagy, but you can't necessarily get autophagy through eating. If you're eating breakfast, if you're eating all day, if, you, if you're still in the mindset of counting calories or that you need to eat six meals a day to lose weight, you're not even touching the, the beginning to touch this intelligence that wants to heal you. So the basic premise around autophagy is yes, it is detoxifying, it is self-healing, it is a mechanism that you were born with, you don't have to pay any money for. You just need to fast a certain period of time so that you can tap into this intelligence. But what I wanted you to understand today is that it's this brilliance that you were born with. It is the miracle that you already came programmed with. You've just been over here eating all day because that's what the world has taught us, is eat all day and you'll speed up your metabolism, that you never got a, a true sense or you never got the true, true idea behind autophagy and understood what autophagy could be so that it works in your favor. Now, the other thing I want you to know that's pivotal to autophagy, is that when you start to turn on this intelligence with fasting, is the intelligence may look around the cell, just like you might walk into a dark room and turn on the light and go, whoa, there is, everything in here is just junk. I need to get rid of all of the junk. The same thing can happen with autophagy, that sometimes you turn on this internal healing mechanism and the cell goes, this is not a good cell. This is a bum cell. I'm going to kill this cell. And it will create cell death. This is called apoptosis. It is a beautiful thing. If the intelligence thinks that this cell is malfunctioning, you do not want that cell to malfunction and replicate. This is how things like cancer starts. This is how aging progresses. 
So autophagy is pivotal for cellular repair. It's pivotal for your intelligence to be able to understand if it's a healthy cell that needs to be killed or if it's a cell that they could just clean up and it could thrive. Okay, I gotta interrupt this video because I have a free guide for you so you can master fasting. It's called A Beginner's Guide to a Fasting Lifestyle. And all you've gotta do is click here and you can jump right in. Okay, let's talk about autophagy fasting. So there are some very specific parameters. The first, you guys have probably heard me talk about this idea that we have these switches that turn on. The longer you fast, the more you turn these switches on. And I actually think of autophagy as more like a dimmer switch. So autophagy starts to kick in around 17 hours. And so that's when you're like a dimmer switch in a room, you're slowly turning up the light, you're slowly turning up autophagy around 17 hours of fasting. Now, if you stay fasting, the science shows that between 17 and 72 hours, you will get maximum autophagy. Many people believe 72 hours, that three day water fast will give you the best autophagy effect possible. And a lot of people believe, just like I was explaining, that it's just a dimmer switch that just gets brighter and brighter as you move closer to 72. So 20 hours has more autophagy than 17. 36 hours has more autophagy than 17. The more you fast, the more you're gonna build up this autophagy effect. Now there are other key principles to autophagy other than fasting that we cannot ignore. So one of those, and I learned this from Naomi Whittle, she uh, did a Resetter podcast with me all on autophagy. So go to iTunes and check out the Resetter podcast. And she taught me a hack for autophagy fasting that I absolutely love and many of you have tried. And the hack is this, you go 17 hours of fasting and then at 17 hours, you break your fast with fat. Why would you wanna break your fast with fat? And that's because fat will not spike your blood sugar, typically. Fat will keep your blood sugar level and it will allow your blood sugar, in some cases, to even drop. If your blood sugar doesn't go up, then technically you are not being pulled out of a state of autophagy. So the first thing to get into autophagy is you wanna go 17 hours of fasting. The second is when you actually do break your fast, break it with fat, an avocado, uh, MCT oil, uh, any grass-fed dairy that doesn't like butter or ghee that doesn't have a lot of protein in it. You're literally just, or avocado, I, I do a lot of when I autophagy fast, I do a lot of avocado where you're just taking like a scoop or a sampling of those foods so that you keep your blood sugar even and it will allow you to fast longer. So if you're struggling to go 17 hours, this is a key hack because if you eat that fat, it doesn't raise your blood sugar, doesn't pull you out of autophagy, and you can technically keep fasting. Second key, key food tip that I wanna give you on autophagy is if you are continuing your autophagy fasting after you broke your fast, if you open your window up, your eating window up, and you keep your protein under 20 grams, you're still technically in autophagy. Break your fast with fat, and then when you eat, you're gonna keep your protein under 20 grams. You can do animal protein if you eat animal protein. We're not in autophagy, we don't look at carbs as much as we look at that protein. Now, I like you to keep your carbs under 50 net carbs, but the key is 20 grams of protein. That is the key. This is what you do to stay in autophagy. 17 hours, break it with fat, and then keep your protein under 20 grams. And those of you that are water fasters, you love water fasting, know that as the closer you get to 17, 72 hours, you're just ramping up that autophagy. But that's the, the tips on staying in autophagy for a longer period of time. That's what you need to know about fasting and autophagy. If you wanna dive into autophagy more, uh, I have a great video called uh, The Best Way to Extend a Fast and Boost Autophagy. So go check out that video. Once you click into this fasted state, somewhere in between eight to 12 hours, now the trick is how do we stay there longer? 